I've tried the latest version of GPT Engineer, and my goal was to see if I could create a web app without writing a single line of code. It is now possible to integrate Supabase in GPT Engineer apps, so that means we can create apps with authentication, database calls, and storage as well, just using the GPT Engineer console. The results, a simple-to-use baby tracker app called Babyster. It's something I would have used myself when my kid was a baby. An intuitive interface to track when the baby sleeps and eats, made to be used on mobile phones, but it works on desktop as well. First, you create an account with email and password, then you enter the name of your baby and can start tracking. Pressing sleep means that your baby just fell asleep, triggering this sleeping animation. And when the baby wakes up, you press wake up. You can also press the eat button to register that the baby has been fed. Going to the events tab will show you a list of all your baby's sleep and eat events, grouped day by day. It's possible to add some extra data to each event, such as what the baby ate or how the nap was. Since parents can't get enough of looking at their babies, I've used storage in Supabase to make it possible to upload an image of the baby and also a picture of the baby sleeping that's displayed when the baby sleeps. All in all, it was a great experience to create this app using GPT Engineer. It took a couple of hours of prompting and testing to get all details right, and an additional half hour or so to set up the database tables and authentication in Supabase. It went way faster than if I had coded everything from scratch myself. Try the app on babyster.app and recommend it to new parents if you like it.